uh, Adam's going to give us some closing remarks to sum up the day. <clears throat> All right, sum up the day. That would be a hard thing to do. Um, um, so I, I really hope uh, that you've enjoyed today. Um, I heard some good feedback during the breaks. Um, and ah, feedback there, um, which brings me to um, feedback. So uh, we have made these events better and better year on year, and that's because of feedback from you. Um, and we're going to get better next year if we get some great ideas and suggestions from you. Also let us know what you saw this year that worked well, what didn't uh, work well, um, and your ideas for, um, uh, for making it even better. So please, you know, follow that link uh, as soon as you can. Uh, we'll probably be sending out an email shortly after the meeting um, with a pointer to the feedback uh, uh, form, so please make use of that. Uh, and a way to get in touch with us um, to follow up on some of the ideas and discussions from the day. So please take advantage of that as well. Um, I think we've seen a really remarkable range of research and creative outputs today. Uh, the sort of things that can only happen if you've got a space to support research and innovative experimentation with digital collections. And um, we've seen some also, really interesting examples that have spanned the gap between the physical and the digital, uh, uh, which is a, a theme that we've, we've seen emerge um, year on year as, as well. I think we've made some good progress uh, towards understanding uh, and starting to provide that kind of environment. Um, but there's a long way to go. We're continuing to test, to pilot, to experiment, to try things, to try to move on uh, from the things that uh, don't work and reinvent and improve the things that do. So um, please help us to do that. Um, a bunch of the comments that Dan made in his keynote this morning um, continue to resonate with me. Um, and it's interesting to reflect on. I think uh, there's some similarities in our experiences and also some differences. And I think one thing I'd really like to highlight um, is the engagement and the buy-in from my curatorial colleagues and other colleagues here in the British Library over recent years has been really astounding. Uh, we've seen some of that today. The Document Harvester, um, the, the staff awards and runner-up, I think are nice examples of that. Um, it integrates you know, uh, some things we were doing with web archiving into the sort of day-to-day -day practice of building our collections and our catalog um, in a really um, uh, you know, innovative and insightful way, you know, love it. Um, we saw the team behind the Polonsky project and that combines so digitization and traditional scholarship, print publication, but it also is really pushing the boundary with the way organizations like ours can make content available and shareable and usable. So uh, we didn't have a big talk about IIIF, um, but it came up many times today. Many of you will be familiar with this. Uh, uh, international image interoperability framework, but it enables, it's as a standard API um, that British Library content and the content from the British, uh, from the BNF and Stanford and Princeton and Cambridge and Oxford is all available through. And so you can use tools that interact with all of that um, uh, across those institutions. And we saw a lovely example of that with Polanski um, where you've got uh, material available through Mirador at the BNF and through uh, what we call the Universal Viewer here at the library. It's the same content available through the same APIs, um, available in different locations, and that is really unlocking the way people can interact um, with, those, uh, with those collections. So uh, again, I, I, I love the progress that's been made um, there. I think Dan also highlighted it's really important to show you're working. Um, we've tried to do that. Uh, some things uh, work, some things don't work as well. Actually, I sometimes like to think of it better as um, some things work well at a part of your journey uh, and are less useful in another part. Um, I think uh, we've, we've shared a number of those examples um, over the years uh, through, the, through the labs. And I think also um, we saw today that uh, introduction of digital collections and methods is not in tension with curatorial knowledge. Um, uh, I think Dan had a great line on, on that this morning. He said, you know, there are no collections without curators. 
And in fact, it becomes impossible to make good quality usage of your digital collections without that deep curatorial knowledge uh, that underlies it. So um, that role becomes more and more essential as the potential user community for those collections grows as they become available uh, in digital research environments. So that's what I want to say by way of kind of summary remarks. Um, but this, uh, I'd also like to note it's, it's really hard to do an event like this. Um, it takes a lot of work. We had over 300 reg registrants. I think there must be uh, 200 plus of you here on the day. Um, and that mix of people and that programming um, uh, is only possible with a great team behind it. So I'd just like to make a couple of thanks. So um, uh, first of all, uh, we had a couple of members here from the British Library Labs Advisory Panel. Um, they may have all wandered. Anybody still here? I saw you before lunch, just like those senior advisory panel members to do that. Um, uh, but, but thanks to them, um, uh, nonetheless, um, they make the key recommendations uh, uh, for selecting the awards. Uh, secondly, um, I'd like to thank our colleagues who uh, presented the awards today. It's been great to interact with you uh, uh, in making that happen. Um, thanks to um, the AV and events team. Um, uh, can't quite see you behind the lights. Uh, you've done a great job today. Um, so if, if I could ask you to clap and get their attention. <laughs> Uh, thanks also to our caterers, Peyton and Vern. Uh, they did a good job today. We didn't run out of sandwiches. We didn't run out of coffee. Um, thanks to Mahendra for asking them to bring a bit more. So a big improvement over last year. And you may have noticed also the Wi-Fi gets better in this place every year. Um, <laughs> so uh, um, thanks to the technology team for, for that. Um, and uh, thanks so much for, to all the members of the digital scholarship team who either were behind the podium speaking today or helping downstairs during the breaks and, and in advance. Uh, it's been, uh, uh, these things can't happen without, without that team pulling together for it, so. And then um, thanks also to Eleanor, um, who chaired this last session. Uh, she's been here uh, for only a year, but it seems like she's been here forever. Um, it's been a delight having her on the team, uh, and she's made a huge difference, uh, including today. So thanks, Eleanor. And, and I'd say uh, thanks most especially to Mahendra. Um, he's been on this journey with me to establish um, the labs here at the British Library uh, and bring that early vision into reality. Um, it's been uh, great so far. Um, it's made a huge difference. It's having a tremendous impact. So uh, thanks for that and putting together the program for, uh, for a great day today. And finally, um, uh, my thanks to you. You've been a great engaged set of participants. I heard some really good conversations. I overheard some bits and pieces. I had some myself. Um, I hope that you're going to uh, use those to form the basis of new collaborations, uh, new uh, and creative and wonderful enterprises. Um, so thanks to you. And uh, we're not quite done yet, even when I, we, we close it down because there's uh, time for a nibble and some more conversations and questions um, in the foyer after we break. So please, uh, I hope you can stay for us, with us for that. So with that, come let's have a, have a drink and a bite.